Hi guys, I am Abrar and welcome to another tutorial in real time control of Arduino hardware using MATLAB and Simulink series. Hope you like my previous tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can read analog signal using Arduino and Simulink modeling. Let's get started. For this simulation, first we see the hardware requirement. Breadboard. 10K trimmer, jumper wires, Arduino Uno, connecting cable to connect Arduino to PC. Now let's see the circuit. As you can see, we are going to connect 5 volt pin of Arduino to first pin of the trimmer, lower pin of trimmer to ground of the Arduino, and middle pin of trimmer to the analog input pin A0 of Arduino. Now assemble the circuit. Open MATLAB and select current folder as we created in previous tutorial. Create a new folder in it and name it as analog read and select the folder. Go to new, click on Simulink model and create a blank model. Configure the model to run in external mode with Arduino Uno. Click apply and ok. Save the model with name analog read. Make sure you do not give space between analog and read. Now go to library browser. In Simulink library, go to Sync's library and add display and scope block to the model. Now go to Simulink support package for the Arduino hardware library and go to common library and select analog input block and add to model. Now connect the model as I am showing. Double click on analog input block. Block property window will open. Change pin number to 0 that is A0 analog input pin of the Arduino. Click apply and ok. Now double click on scope block and open the configuration properties and go to time tab. Change time span to user defined and put as 50 time span overrun action to scroll time unit to non check the show time access label next go to display tab change y limit minimum to 0 and while limit maximum to 1024 to make graph visual better open the style properties and change line width to 2 Click apply and ok. Now press space to fit model to window. Now 
Now we will change the input sample time. To change the sample time, open the analog input block and change sample time to 0.2 that is at every 200 millisecond it will sample the input data. Now to finally run the simulation model, click on run button, wait for simulation to start. As you can see in display block and scope, Arduino no getting 5 volt at analog input so it reads this 5 volt input as 1023. Because Arduino has a 8 bit ADC so it reads 5 volt as a 1023 bit. Now we will change the input signal voltage value through trimmer. As I decrease the input voltage all the way to zero, then scope graph is also decreases all the way to zero from 1023. You can also see the decrease value in the display block. So in this way we can see the real time analog read value in scope. Guys now if you want to see the actual input voltage level then we have to scale the read value. For that let's make some changes in the model so we can scale the input value. As the default analog voltage reference of Arduino is 5 volt, so first change the input value to base 1 by dividing the input value to 1023. Then multiplying the result to 5, now input value is scaled to 5 volt. Make the changes to the model as I have done. Run the simulation now.
Now we can see the input read values as well as voltage. As I change the input value through trimmer, the changes are took place we can see in the scope and display at real time. So guys this is all about this video, hope you have learned how we can read analog input and scale it in MATLAB Simulink using Simulink modeling. So in this way we can scale any sensor read value in the Simulink modeling. If you like my video then do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys for watching.